I'm full out expecting like just five zombies to swarm me at once and I will scream like the babiest baby you've ever heard. <gasps> You've encountered some of those feral zombies just literally doing nothing. What? 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 No, 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 no. YOLO, 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 YOLO. Hello, everybody. Welcome back into another video. And today, things will never be the same after what we got in store for y'all today. I'm so excited for this, especially given what you lads and lassies just witnessed happen to us in the beginning couple of clips where we're trying to survive in some very dangerous situations and while we can't exactly hear some very treacherous things like a giant zombie bear sneaking up on us or inside of the depths of an extremely dark cave in an otherwise very bright game well we can't exactly see what we're getting into and then terror strikes <laughs> but what if i told you that this is going to be a thing of the past. Now you might want to try and call me a liar when I say that star. No, these are the dangers of playing games, but you can be at quite the competitive advantage with this awesome thing known as Real Game Enhancer Plus. One of the many awesome features inside of Samsung's QLED 8K TVs, which I actually got the opportunity to check out over at CES 2020, get some hands on with them and lads and lassies. Let me just say, this is gonna be a game changer, man. So I did wanna say a huge thank you real quick to Samsung for sponsoring this video and actually giving us the opportunity to go out to CES and really get this close up look with a lot of this new technology that they're working on because there's a lot more cool stuff beyond just the Real Game Enhancer Plus that I'm talking about. And we're gonna get to that in a second. But this Real Game Enhancer Plus, it does some incredible things. One of which is the ability to get very clear visibility even in dark scenes dynamically the tv itself can actually detect when you are entering into a dark location and it will automatically adjust the brightness so you can actually see what's going on this is obviously huge because kind of what i have to do sometimes when i play some dark games like miss survival or seven days to die for example is i actually have to manually raise the brightness of the entire game but the problem with that is then that it's really bright in the middle of the day. So either I gotta constantly be fiddling with settings in the game, I gotta be fiddling with my own monitor settings, and that's not something you gotta do with these QLED 8Ks. This is something that the TV can literally automatically do for you. And it's really cool because it goes beyond just what's going on in the game. The TV can actually detect how bright the room itself is. So let's say you're in a very dark room, and then all of a sudden someone walks in and flips on the lights. Usually, the TV would probably look different if you're just watching on like a normal old TV of some sort. It'd probably look a little bit different because now the entire room is brighter so the TV just doesn't kind of contrast as well against it. But thanks to this technology that's going on as well, if someone just goes and like flips on the lights or something, the TV can detect that and automatically adjust its settings so it literally looks exactly the same to you regardless of the setting that it's in. And trust me, man, with some of the darker games I play like Seven Days in Mr. Survival, especially at night sometimes i literally in the middle of the day have to like lock myself into the room i freaking like turn all the curtains block out all the sunlight that i possibly can to even try and get a hint of what's going on and obviously being able to see in the dark is a huge advantage especially in survival and zombie games because there's usually day night cycles and night times usually very dangerous whether it be in rust seven days to die miss survival any type of survival game and even beyond survival games being able to see in the dark better than your opponents lets you recognize danger from afar and it lets you act accordingly as well so being able to see any type of danger better from afar in any type of environment especially nighttime is a huge advantage and the advantages don't stop there come on peek out mother trucker peek out peek out do it do it do it do it i know you want to oh my god okay yolo oh no shotgun rain we took him down nice 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 Shotgun rain! Took out another dude! Dude, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! There can't be a lot- Oh! Shotgun rain! Shotgun rain! Another survivor down! Oh, baby. So here you boys and girls just saw me in the middle of a huge gunfight with a bunch of bandits, and I was actually able in the beginning to recognize this bandit that was actually over on my left, and I could kind of anticipate the fact that he was about to run out, and it gave me an opportunity to gun him down. Now, the reason that I kind of was able to anticipate him was because I heard him over to my left, and I kind of heard footsteps running over a little bit more to the right. So I kind of anticipated him running out from that cover he was in, 
in the left. So usually this is something that like you need a headset to accomplish in order to get that sound experience to kind of be able to anticipate things like this. But QLED 8Ks from Samsung can actually provide this through OTS Plus. That's going to be a huge advantage, especially when you don't want to be wearing a headset. Maybe, you know, you want your hair to dry real nice or something like that. But long story short, you can just relax on a couch, no headset on, and even just be playing some Call of Duty, for example. And with the rise of competitive games, this is going to be the perfect tool to have at your disposal, not to mention the luxury of such a massive screen, which lets you be truly competitive while even playing from the couch. In the esports world, this is unprecedented because almost all high level competition ends up taking place on like gaming monitors that are like anywhere from like 20 to 30 inches or something like that. And the audio goes beyond just being able to hear when someone's going to be able to sneak up on you better and just in more story based games or like single player type of immersive games. This feature really is incredible at providing that next level of immersion. And especially when we're playing video games, like we're just trying to escape reality a little bit. And anytime you're able to up that immersion factor and really feel within the moment with what you're playing this next level of audio quality and immersion is really gonna be able to help out with that not to mention the fact that this is 8k they might be like star i have nothing that can display 8k well that doesn't matter. Thanks to that quantum.ai processor that we've been talking about a little bit, the TV can actually dynamically upscale the image of whatever is being displayed with amazing quality. So not only is this going to be an awesome way of improving your current experience, if you have like a PS4, for example, plugged into one of these QLED 8Ks, it is going to be able to show 8K through that upscaling with the quantum.ai processor. But this is also going to be an incredibly future proofed television as well with this ultimately being an 8k tv it's ready for when 8k is actually something that can be natively displayed from gaming consoles or powerful computers or anything like that and with the upcoming ps5 and new xbox series x and the announcement that both of them are going to support 8k graphics this is ready to go for the future baby like the new ps5 and the new xbox have both been things that i'm pretty much going to be picking up like one of the first possible days that i can and kind of hearing about all of this that I'm talking about here, as we just said, it's pretty future proof with the fact that it will be able to, to support native 8K when that ends up being a thing. But even if you want to watch like movies, shows, or even YouTube videos from the past, <coughs> all of my 5,000 videos, then the quantum.ai can actually upscale that stuff to some gorgeous 8K as well. This TV is past present and future proof so even older games that were nowhere near close to being meant or built for 8k the quantum.ai processor with the qled 8k tv will still be able to display it in very gorgeous 8k now i know we've been talking about 8k a lot so in case you guys don't know right 8k has four times as many pixels in it so technically speaking anywhere up to four times as much detail as 4k which is four times as many pixels as 1080p. So compared to potentially a run-of-the-mill 1080p monitor, 1080p being, I mean, from what I've seen, pretty much the standard for like a YouTube video quality that can be viewed, right? Uh, 8K is literally 16 times as many total pixels. That increase in quality is insane. Even if you're on a 4K and you've been experiencing this increase in quality from 1080p to 4K for a while, imagine four times more pixels again. As a wise man once said, another one. And speaking of YouTube videos, you can actually watch one while using this TV. No, not just like on your phone, in your lap, on a laptop. In addition to playing a game, or just watching some TV, you can actually use MultiView, an awesome feature that does come with these QLED 8Ks, to pop up your phone screen or even just another source connected to the TV. If you're stuck in a level trying to figure out how to craft something new, you can easily pull up a YouTube video in picture in picture mode to help you through it. You don't need to look away from the TV. This works for your phone in general. So you can just like look through the internet. You can find like a written guide, for example. And I gotta say, as a little bit of a bonus, we all love memes. We all love scrolling through Instagram. We love all that type of stuff. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect for just multitasking with that too. Cause instead of like look down to scroll through or whatever, you can just like look up at your TV 
scroll through and it'll scroll on your TV. So you can just keep your eyes up as your phone screen is mirrored to multi-view on the TV. And this only scratches the surface of what these QLED 8Ks are capable of. However, I just want to definitely focus on the gaming side of things. But with that said, with that done, that is going to go to start wrapping it up for this video. Huge thank you again to Samsung for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to fly out to Las Vegas and check this out on a first-hand basis. Because as good as some of these examples I showed look through the video in person, it's just a whole nother level of surreal. But uh, yeah, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.